Welcome back everyone to the ninth part now of the horror game series and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how we can make a death screen and a kick on death as well. Quite easy and only requires two really quick scripts so I'll be showing you how to do those today. And if you do find this video useful, make sure to add a comment below on what you thought and maybe even subscribe. No. What did you say? Let's do this. Now if you remembered in the last episode we actually created a kill bot which looks something like this. But what do we want to happen when the killbot actually kills us? <laughs> That's what we're going to be making today. When the killbot touches you, um, a nice little GUI is going to pop up on our screen. And then shortly after, it's going to kick us from the game to make the game extra difficult. So to begin, we actually need the GUI or else it won't work. And to do this, we're just going to go to start a GUI. Going to click the plus and we're going to add a screen GUI. And now we're going to call this screen GUI. Def GUI, just like that. And then inside, we're going to insert a frame. Now, to make this cover the whole screen, we're going to make the size 1, 0, 1, 0, and that's going to cover the whole screen. Now, I want this to look a bit more mysterious, so I'm just going to set the color to a nice, not fully black, but just like a nice. A nice, I don't know how to describe this, but that's what I'm going to go with for now. And what else do we want to pop up on the screen uh, when you die? Well, of course, we want something to say that you've died, or else we're just going to be in confusion, wondering why a black frame has popped up on our screen, pretty much. So same thing here. We're going to do one comma zero comma one comma zero, and then we're going to put, put the background transparency to one. And now you've seen the label's gone invisible because the background is black and so is the text so we're just going to put text color free white and we're going to do text scaled on so we can see the text clearly and then we're just going to write the text rewrite the text and we're going to say you died now of course you can make some changes to this if you like you can make it italic or you can make it bold but i'm just going to go with some nice i'm going to go with creepster and that's going to be the font we're going to use. And also, actually, I'm going to make it red. So there, just like that. And already you can see we've got it looking pretty good. Right, so the next step of actually creating our dev screen is we want it to pop up when we die. So to do this, we're going to go to the global script service. We're going to go to service script service. We're going to add plus and we're going to make a script. And then we're just going to put this back to the side. like that it's worked after three seconds the you died appeared and it, it's working just how we want it to work and you see that little that little gap at the top of the screen you could easily make that go away by saying ignore GUI inset and that's gonna get that out of the way because of course it's actually quite annoying now what else do we want to do we actually want to make the uh, we want to make the game kick us and to do that we're gonna go to service script serviced once again and we're going to call this script kick on death now this script is a bit shorter and i'll be showing you that now so we're going to make some variables quickly we're going to do local players is equal to game column get service players or game dot players and then we're going to go down, we're going to do local RNG equals random. If you're wondering what RNG is, it literally just means, it's just shorter for random. And then we're going to do, go down, we're going to do players, dot player added, column connect to function, player. And then inside, we're going to go down, make some space. We're going to do task dot spawn, you've probably never seen this before, function. And then we're going to do local player, is equal to player, as we um, put over here. We're going to go down, we're going to do repeat, task, dot wait, until player, dot character. And then we're going to do local humanoid, 
is equal to player dot character colon find first child humanoid and then we're gonna do humanoid dot died colon connect to the function and then as we've seen in the script that we've just made we're actually gonna wait three seconds and we, but we don't want it to kick we won't we don't want it to kick us when the text hasn't appeared yet so we're gonna put a bit of a delay so when we've died the script is gonna wait five seconds and then it's going to kick us player colon kick and just like that it should all be working so if we go ahead and walk into the monster when it spawns back <coughs> we die text appears and then we're kicked and just like that it's all working now guys one little addendum I just want to add to the very end of this if you remember in the previous episode we actually made the lights work and we made them turn off and on if you touch the light and you just go into the scripts just make sure I want you to guys to reverse these materials so previously we had another material here and we had another material here make set this to neon Set this to metal, set this to 0 0.66, and then set this to zero. And that's that's pretty much it. And then that's gonna make the, um, instead of being able to see the, cause like you, when the light turns off and you have your flashlight on and you look at the ceiling, you can see the material. But, and, but doing, yeah, but doing this just enables the game to run a bit more smooth and just makes the whole experience a bit better. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys very, very 